Imagine with me, if you will, that you're a lettuce on a very hot day. The weather network only says it's 20 degrees, but clearly, in the hot, hot sun, it feels like a lot more. As a thirsty little lettuce, you're waiting for a drink. But the person who owns you <gasps> believes a myth that if they water you, they'll burn you. So what the heck are we doing here, Lanny? Personifying lettuce? <laughs> I thought we would check that old myth. Well, I'll explain why that old myth of why you shouldn't water your plants during the day. Because it is very hot, and as you can tell, my lettuce is kind of kind of sad there. He's wilting. And the myth states that if I water him, he's going to end up with tons and tons of burns because what will happen is the water droplets will get stuck on him and magnify, make a magnifying glass. So lots of scientists have proved, I've already went through the trouble of trying to prove this, but it's still a myth I was taught. And like in the sun right now, it's like 48 degrees. That's really hot. But how hot is this plant actually? Is a good question. Maybe we can find that out. And yeah, so that's the myth. So what we're gonna try to figure out is how much energy does it take to actually burn a plant? And it's quite a bit more than you'd think. See, like this has already went down to 38. And that's because the plant is transpiring, right? 40. And transpiration is gonna cool the plant. So, we got our fancy really dirty magnifying glass here. Let's try to burn us a leaf. Like, I think people get an unrealistic expectation of what a water droplet can do, because we have such perfect lenses nowadays. Like, this is a $2 lens from the dollar store, and it's... It's probably better than what most people had a hundred years ago. We we're just that fortunate in lens technology with plastics and stuff. It's a big part of why plants are Focus. green, is to protect themselves. Focus. From the really damaging rays of the sun. Still hasn't done anything. But like it, water, oh, there it goes. It is, has such a great amount of heat transfer that it takes so long to burn the plant that by the time water would do that, it would be evaporated. Ow, cooked lettuce, yum, yum, yum. One more time. <laughs> well, that was a bit quicker. All right. So now let's see what water does when we pour it on. <laughs> All right, so we got a pretty good spot right there. But you see how direct we have to be? You can't be off by the slightest hair. And you can see it's evaporating and burning around it faster than it's burning. That actual spot, right? So like, yeah. If the bubble was involved in any lensing like that, it would probably it would definitely evaporate before it did any 
withstanding damage. Because you can see it's just evaporating. Oh, we're boiling the water now. <laughs> it just takes like erroneously long time. Here, okay, let's try this again. All right, so we got a best case scenario here. We're gonna amplify that latitude. So you can see it just takes forever to evaporate that water, but if we move over... Start burning that leaf immediately. Like, we could probably burn this hunk of water... ...out of there... ...before it would evaporate. Still a giant droplet of water. You can see bubbles forming, so it is boiling it, but it just does not want to burn the plant. See? And this is best case scenario, and I have to hold a way more powerful magnifying glass, like, a good six inches away. So, like, you know, that this is more how optics work for focusing, right? Like, if we hold it really close up to it, like, what that is essentially representing, it's never going to burn that leaf. So it takes this amount of focus just to be able to get it to burn, right? In the first place. It's pretty tricky when you're trying to film it too. Let's see, now it'll burn. But it's not gonna evaporate the water nearly that quick. Further ways to prevent leaf damage. Water the base of the plant when you're using like chemicals or if you have a fuzzy plant. Uh, yeah, like, but like, even with a fuzzy plant, the, the lens is gonna change shape and the sun's gonna move and the stars are not gonna align for it to actually happen. So uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just keep your plants cold. Because they won't even plant stomatas, uh, how they do transpiration shuts down after about 27 degrees usually, depending on the plant. So if you cool your plant down, it's going to be able to transpire a lot more and it's actually going to be able to grow. So it's, a, it's very important to keep your plants cool if you can. It's so hot, my phone literally turned off. So if you are one of those people that have a lot of problems with mold, uh, it could be... Um, it could be because of the fact that you're watering too late at the evening. Probably when you get home from work or whatever. But when you do water when it's really hot, you wanna make sure that your water temperature isn't too cold. So personally, I leave my water out in buckets like this. Uh, if you have lots of rain, uh, that's great, but we don't have very much annual rainfall here. So I have to use groundwater. 
And groundwater is super cold. Like I'll get a base temperature in a minute here after I empty this to water my garden, but 22 right now and it's been heated up by the sun for a day. Black obviously is gonna heat it up better. It's still filling, but it's all fresh water. Fresh new water. Uh, it'll switch itself to a second. So a lot of people will think like there is one study that proved that if you have hairy plants, that mm, perhaps your hairy plants will get damaged. Oh, yeah, I see. But those hairy plants, you've seen how far it took for the lens to actually optigate. Whatever, I'm using that word. It's it's a word now. So far, LARF, I decided to look up what opticate means, and uh, I can only find it on Urban Dictionary, so it's slang, uh, but it's an empty word with absolutely no meaning used infrequently to sound intelligent in conversation. <laughs> no perfect glass. Well, not really perfect, but still. 11 degrees now. It's cold. Which is a lot colder than the plant. So when you introduce that kind of water to something that's 30 degrees, it's gonna shrink right away. And George Costanza knows shrinkage is bad. So you should know shrinkage is bad for your garden plants as well. Because you got to think of it this way, the hotter your water is, to a point, uh, the, the more your plant is going to expand uh, the roots, and therefore the more surface area they're going to have to absorb water anyways. So if you shrink the roots, they're going to have a lot less surface area to absorb water, plus you're going to damage them. So if you're one of those people that do everything just right to grow your tomatoes and they keep just like coming out this big, that's probably why, is because you're introducing them to a cold shock of water every day. Whoa, 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 whoa. So thanks for watching. Check out some of my other videos. They're awesome too. All right, that's too annoying. <clears throat> All right, thank you for watching. If this is your first time, please subscribe and click the little notification bell so you get all my videos because they're all amazing. And yes, watch all my other stuff. Watch it all, all of it, because it's all amazing, like I just said. <laughs>